What's going on, you guys? Huge benefit with these total gym or sliding bench trainers that I honestly haven't talked enough about. I mean, I alluded to it and definitely mentioned it a few times, but didn't do a whole video about it. And that's just how portable these pieces of equipment are. They're already incredibly versatile machines in general, and you guys know I love them. But the fact that you can bring them outside or you can throw them in the back of your car with fa fairly easy. I mean, they're definitely, I can see where some people, this might be an issue, might be a little difficult, maybe a little cumbersome to do. Uh, but I, you can see here in this video, basically I'm in the North Woods with some family on like a little vacation. Uh, you might have seen some other videos where I've taken this thing outside or traveled with it. So I thought I'd do a brief video and that's what this video is gonna get into, talking about the benefits of traveling with the Total Gym or Sliding Bench Trainer, how I personally travel with it, how I store it and pack it up and what kind of exercises and workouts I kind of stick to. Uh, but that's basically what I get into in this video. So if you guys uh, like this content, as always, it's always helpful if you guys uh, like and or subscribe. Just to show you how I kind of pick it up and store it, this will vary, very model to model, but basically fully collapse it, make sure the top middle cable is attached. The sled likes to kind of pop off and move around. So what you want to do is get the handles out of the way. Probably might be best if you just detach the handles. I never do though. And what I do is grab the outside and I kind of bear hug the top and just kind of hold it really tight to your body like that. That's basically all you have to do. Pretty simple, but if you don't, the thing likes to kind of fly off. And that's basically it. So it really just depends on the space you got in the car. I actually put mine widthwise between two seats. It doesn't get in the way of my kids, but I got like my kids' seats are there. Uh, so I kind of put it between those things. Obviously, you got a truck or really just depends on your on a, the car situation. If you can put it widthwise or lengthwise, you can pack this thing. I recognize that for some people, the way I showed you to pick it up, I don't think it's incredibly hard. It is like it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but I can understand for some people, they might find that really difficult to pick this whole this whole apparatus up. I believe this thing weighs like 65-ish pounds, which sounds kind of like a lot, but when you keep it kind of collapsed and bent up when you bear hug it, it's not too bad. Uh, if you've got, granted, if you've got like a smaller, cheaper model, like if you have Weed or Ultimate Body Works or one of the smaller models or less expensive Total Gym models, I think you'll be good. Uh, that Great Flex that I have, that's actually a little bit more bigger, slightly a bit bulkier, tiny bit heavier, it seems like. So this is a little, this is a little bit more doable. Uh, so definitely the model, uh, your own strength level and just picking it up might be an issue. But if you're someone who does a lot of traveling, if you're someone who thinks they're gonna work out outside a lot, uh, I'm, you know, you can toy with the idea of getting a less expensive, lighter model. And I actually tried contacting Total Gym Direct through like a chat box on their website. And uh, I won't go into the whole story, but basically they wouldn't really tell me anything with regards to the, the Total Gyms that were sold on Amazon. So that's a whole nother side story. But I did try and figure that, find that out as far as the weights uh, of the actual units. But definitely I'd assume those cheaper ones are going to be less expensive. And since they set up and break down the same way, I'd assume that would be the kind of the ideal way to kind of hold it in the way I showed you guys to kind of pick it up moving around so it would be a little bit easier now I personally don't bring any attachments I used to bring this squat stand and I stopped doing that just because you know if I really felt like if I want to do legs I can do some bodyweight squats some lunges or if I maybe have some resistance bands I don't even bring the resistance bands anymore either I just to keep it simple without bringing a bunch of stuff I just kind of throw this thing uh, in the car not that I mean this isn't the most minimalist thing to actually pack I mean I totally get that but you know, if you want to get a your same kind of quality workouts at home uh, while you're gone, you, I mean, this is it's still pretty cool, still pretty versatile, still pretty portable in my opinion. But to kind of save some time and just really space and just stuff to bring, I don't bring any of the attachments. You guys saw me do that inverted press. You can use the bottom. Uh, you can do the. Uh, you can actually do pull-ups from the top. You guys will see that in a second. But that's pretty much what I do is I just keep it simple with uh, more or less, it's, I'm more or less doing the upper body workouts. I mean, you can get creative and use your body weight for the body weight stuff and do some other stuff as well. So really easy. Now I granted, if I haven't brought this thing in any hotel room, uh, if you're going to like an Airbnb or something like that, that'd be good or like a friend's house or your parent's house or whatever. But uh, I could see where, I don't know. I, I haven't crossed that bridge yet. If I really was going somewhere and there was a hotel room, would I pack this? If I was staying for a long period of time, like a week, I guess I would. But yeah, you look kind of weird walking through the lobby with this total gym in your hand. But at the same time, small price to pay for, uh, you know, bringing these quality workouts on the road with you. And I got to say, this thing was a hit. I mean, I put this thing, I had it set up. I had my uh, younger nephews hopping on this. People wanted to try it. And I just kind of left this set up outside the whole time. Uh, which was pretty cool. I mean, it's, it was also just, it was just like another fun piece of equipment. That's kind of what this, I mean, this is what I always say with this piece of equipment. It's always just a, it's a fun exercise device. People naturally want to gravitate on it uh, and just have fun with it. In fact, one of my nephews, I believe he was like nine. Uh, he was having, he was just 
he was going to town on it. I actually got some uh, cool video, which I'm able to show you just how easy it is for kids to actually, you know, catch on to use the device at the whole other side attachment. But this is just a fun piece of equipment. It kind of made the day a little bit more interesting. I mean, people we had during, I was filming this, people were having lunch. Uh, I was swimming, got out of here, did some workouts. So pretty cool. Just as not just a traveling device, but just as an outdoor piece of exercise equipment, you know, can't say enough about that. With, with regards to my exercise, what I do if I'm gone or out of town, not a whole lot changes. I mean, I'm sticking to some of those core exercises that I've talked about. I think I did a video a couple weeks ago about like the eight exercises you need, or the only ex eight exercises you need. I Basically it's those, but without the leg stuff. So I'm doing, you know, pressing, chest pressing, pulling, arm stuff, mixing it up all together. I'm not even really thinking about it. In fact, like I think uh, it was my dad who was watching me. He's like, do you, do you, is there a certain rep range or stuff? You're, I'm like, I'm not counting or thinking about anything. I'm just kind of having fun out here, working out, just going off a of feeling, which is what I kind of recommend with everything. But I totally understand you. Like I have said many times, having a program is definitely good uh, and necessary for some people. But you know, for me, if I'm like out here just leisurely having fun outside, you can still reap great benefits and for me this was a workout that didn't seem like a workout this was just a fun time uh just moving my body which is what i think all exercise ultimately should be that's my opinion Not everyone has that same opinion uh, but my point is again just showing you again how versatile how fun how easy it is to travel with the total gym uh, it does in my opinion it adds some benefit to vacation especially with people as i said that aren't used to seeing this thing or playing with it. I mean, it was a fun thing that people had, a, and I think it added some benefit to their their time of just stuff to do, especially if you're in like an outdoor place like I was. So that's it, guys. Kind of rambling a little bit. Uh, any questions, comments, feedback about this, let me know. Uh, if you guys have any other travel tips or stuff you do, I'm sure you guys have a much better uh, perks and hacks that I do. Uh, so definitely let me know if there's something else you're thinking about. Uh, happy to hear what that is. Uh, thanks again. I'll see you guys on the next video.